From a 3D printed part to metal casting, the lattice cube torture test. Let's get started. Hi guys, welcome to Project Tube. Uh, I wanted to try something a little more difficult after my last casting. So I went to Thingiverse and uh, picked out this customizable lattice cube and printed it out on my 3D printer. One of the nice things about the customizable lattice cube is that uh, the first time I printed out the lattice cube, I tried casting it and it was a complete failure. I couldn't get the metal to actually sink down into the lattice. And the reason was is the diameter of the lattice was so small, it just didn't really want to fill it without some kind of pressure like a centrifugal uh, casting or a vacuum casting. So I, I used this customizable one and increased the di diameter of the lattice, which uh, made it easier to fill. I had then went to a hot wire cutter, cut the main sprue. I aired on the side of a lot of vents. I did a total of four risers on it, one from the very bottom that goes up and uh, three on each of the corners on the outside. In actuality, I probably should have done more and that probably would have helped the fill as you'll see later on in the video. Um, but all in all, it turned out fairly good. The next step after the, all the sprues and the risers were done was to take the complete uh, mold and hot glue each of the risers and the main sprue onto my work surface right there. Uh, I just used hot glue and that keeps it down there and keeps it from floating up as you've seen in previous videos uh, where it floats up. This keeps it nice and tight on the bottom of the work surface and I don't have to screw around with it. Something to note when you're gluing your mold to the tabletop is to make sure it's glued really well. You don't want it coming off when you're shaking it and trying to uh, get the bubbles out. You also don't want a little gap or anything that the pl uh, plaster will fill and then you have to dig out to find the sprue. I ended up having that problem on this this mold for one of the risers and I, it wasn't a big deal. I could just dig it out and it took like you know a couple minutes but just keep that in mind when you're doing that. Now the next step was to take a uh, carton that I uh, just an old carton and uh, tape it on around the the mold um, and then uh, fill it with uh, the the plaster 5050 uh, plaster Paris and silica sand mix. Two things to keep in mind here: I made the plaster of Paris and sand mix really wet uh, and soupy for this, so that it would get in all the crevices and stuff like that and the other thing to note is just, you know, air, not aerating it, but jiggling it around and getting all those bubbles out. And you can see while I do this that bubbles rise to the surface. And that's really important so you don't get any bubbles in it. So here's the finished dry mold. You can see on the bottom uh, left riser, I had to dig that one out because it didn't completely meet the tabletop. But uh, this is it dried, and you can see all the four uh, riser holes as well as the top sprue. I cleaned it up a little bit with a razor blade, just carved out uh, any places that got filled with plaster. Uh, and then next is the burnout process. The burnout process literally consists of just placing it face down my barbecue and cranking up the heat. Here you can see it is after one hour and then again at two hours and you can see some flame coming out of the hole meaning there's still combustibles in there meaning plastic PLA and then after three hours it's finally finished no more smoke come out of it no more flames it's done so now that the burnout process is complete it's time to start the forge Put the mold down in the bucket with the sand, pack sand around it, first put aluminum foil over the top so no sand gets down into the mold, that'll be pulled off later, and we're just about ready to pour, we just gotta melt some metal. Okay, it's next morning guys, everything's cool. A couple things to note um, before we break this apart is that all the risers filled. Uh, this was a drip when I pulled the crucible away, uh, but I assume this one uh, filled too. And I think if I remember correctly, when I reviewed the video from last night's pour, um, 
that that riser filled as well. So I just wanted to note that that gives you a good indi indication of a good cast. So uh, let's crack this op uh, egg open and let's take a look. Well, it looks like we got pretty good fill. Right here, we didn't fill completely. I can tell already. Um, I'll get this cleaned off and we'll take a look and see how it turned out, other than uh, that little area. Okay guys, here's how it looks after I grinded it all down and uh, removed the screw, the risers and so on and so forth. I did a little bit of sanding on it. It had this bronzy burnished look to it. I think that was from residue of the PLA. I, I never got that on any of my other castings before so I'm not really sure. Maybe a little acid bath or something would take it off or some real intricate sanding obviously would take care of it. But all together it came out fairly well. I usually don't post videos of failed castings but this one I have casted three times. This is the best results I've gotten and I thought I'd let you guys see. I, I hope you guys like this video. On upcoming videos, you know, tell me what you'd like to cast. If you have something from Thingiverse or something I can print off, put it in the comments. Let me know and maybe I'll pick it, cast it, and send it to you. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit like or subscribe. I appreciate it.